What's up guys and welcome back to the Fat Head Cycles YouTube channel. Today we're going to be putting Arlen S Big Supper Air Cleaner on this 2014 Street Glide that's on the lift. This Arlen S Big Sucker fits behind the factory cover on 2014 to 2016 Touring models. Why do you want to put a Stage 1 Big Sucker Air Cleaner on your bike? Everybody wants to get a little bit more sound and a little bit more performance out of their motorcycle when it's factory. If you get air in and you get air out and you add the proper amount of fuel to the air, we're going to make more power. So let's take this and get on over to the bike to get it installed. So the first step in installing the Big Sucker Air Cleaner, or any air cleaner for that matter, is to remove the factory cover. 5 sixteenths Allen. Remove the cover. We're going to set the cover and bolt aside as we are going to be reusing them for the reinstallation. To remove the factory air cleaner, we're going to remove the three, one, two, three T27 fasteners. And then remove the filter from the breather hose in the rear, right here. We're going to remove the breather hose by pulling with our fingers. And now we need to remove these two breather bolts. These breather bolts allow the cylinder heads to breathe excessive crankcase pressure back into the motor. They're 7 sixteenths. Now the backing plate and the air cleaner assembly is completely off. Let's get over to the bench and see what the difference between the factory filter and air cleaner is and the Arlen Ness air cleaner and filter is. Alright, so let's get this big sucker kit opened up, see what's included inside of it, and then we'll compare it to the factory unit. assembly pulls up. We're just going to set this box to the side. Double check to make sure there's nothing in there. There's not. So 
So here's your basic assembly. If we pull the filter off, there's some plastic inside, bag of instructions, a gasket, nuts, bolts, and some more void fill. This is your backing plate. So let's take a look at this kit compared to the factory kit. The first thing we're going to compare is the filters. You can see that the filter in the Big Sucker kit is larger than the factory filter by about a quarter of an inch. That quarter of an inch means more airflow. It's also made of a washable gauze style material. So this filter is going to last you for the life of your motorcycle. No longer are you going to have to buy paper filters. You're just going to have to uh, clean and re-oil this with a K&N filter kit. So let's compare where the air really comes in. So you can see that the factory unit is completely encapsulated all the way around the filter. With the Arlen Nest kit, and we're going to put the filter in there because it is part of the support system, we have all of that extra area right here to allow fresh air to get into your motor. So now that we know what the differences are, let's go get this thing installed. Back over at the bike, you may have noticed in the removal video that I did not remove the factory throttle body support plate from the motorcycle. This black bracket that goes from this cylinder head across to this. The Arlen Nest kit does not require the removal of that bracket. So we're going to start with, first we have our breather bolts. We're going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on each one of them. And then we're going to get our backing plate out. Our backing plate has O-rings that go around the front in that groove right there and in that groove right there and then there's two corresponding grooves in the rear. These O-rings like to fall out so what I like to do is take a little bit of grease just a high temperature grease and put it in those respective areas so that the o-ring doesn't fall out. I'm then going to place the backing plate against the motorcycle and loosely insert my breather bolts. Supplied in the kit are three air cleaner standoffs and three backing plate screws that screw into the standoffs. We're going to want to start more blue Loctite. And then we're going to thread them with an eighth inch Allen into the standoff. You're going to want to bottom them all the way down. So 
Sometimes these are a little tricky. Take your time so that they don't get cross-threaded. Now each one of these completed standoffs gets more blue Loctite. The kit also comes with a new backing plate gasket that goes in between the throttle body and the backing plate. So that is the reason we left our breather bolts loose so that we could slide this up and get it spun the proper orientation. Now that we have our gasket installed, we're going to install our air filter standoffs. And then we're going to come back and torque everything down to the ratings that are in the instructions. We're going to start off with torquing the standoff bolts. Then we're going to take our quarter inch Allen and run the breather bolts down just so they're snug And then those get torqued. To the number that is in your instruction manual. Now we're going to place the filter on, sure that those holes line up, button head screws, 532nd Allen that's included in the kit, blue Loctite, Last thing to do to complete this job is put the factory cover on. There is a black rubber gasket that goes around the factory cover. We're going to take that off because it's no longer needed and we don't want it to fall off. I was incorrect at the beginning of the video. We do not retain the factory bolt in this setup. 
We use the set one that comes with the kit, bolt, there's a washer that goes over top of that. It goes through, then it gets a spacer. Let's clean this gentleman's old oil out of there. And then we're going to put some blue Loctite on the bolt. Three sixteenths Allen. And it threads right in. That's it. We got a high performance air cleaner on this motorcycle, so now we just need to wipe it down. All right guys, so that's it. Quick, easy way to add horsepower to your motorcycle. Now all that's left for me to do before this customer gets the motorcycle back is program the computer with the uh, Power Commander Power Vision, and he's gonna be ready to go. So if you really enjoyed this video, leave a comment, leave a like, click on this guy right here to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Check us out on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, www.fatheadcycles.com. And until next time guys, thanks for watching.